Fire. Hi, I'm Cold Fire without the O. Let me start my timer. And I like Rust. And one of the projects that I've done in Rust is a dark theme for various Rust websites. So if I can do this, this is the GitHub page for that. And I think one of the really interesting things about this is that it ties into the talk that we heard earlier today about creativity. So one of the ways that you can be creative is to theme and style your dev tools. And one of the best ways to do that is to theme the documentation that you take a look at all the time and all day. And by the way, this is based off of a Sublime Text 3 theme that you can see the repo of there. So this is what it looks like. And one of the nice things about doing these projects is that it's risk-free creativity as long as you don't look at the CSS behind it. <clears throat> <laughs> so one of the things that you'll notice about this theme is that it is a very brightly, vibrantly colored dark theme, and that the inline code stands out quite strongly, which is a feature that I really like because it makes it easy to read. And over here you can see the documentation for VEC, the VEC documentation. And then we can move on to docs.rs, and docs.rs, I think we all know what that is. That is a site that generates documentation for all kinds of crates, and you can quickly go and access that documentation. And another thing that I try to do is really care about the details of the theme that, that I'm working on. So like you can see here, the about page for docs.rs, I tried to make look good, as well as the releases page. So the graph isn't white, I tried to style that. And over here you can see crates.io. I've themed crates.io as well. And you can see, for instance, the RAND crate here, which if we scroll down, thanks to this tiny resolution, you can see a little bit of that. I haven't fixed the syntax highlighting on this page yet, but it's still a nice dark theme. And then over here, we have play.rustlang.org. So I think the code editor. And over here, you can see some code that my friends wrote, which is full of nice, ugly iterator goodness, because they like iterators. This is, by the way, an example of a place where you would not want to use iterators. This is for for loops. And then over here, we have Rust by example. So Steve Klabnik, who is somewhere here, recently ported Rust by example to the MD book thing that is used for the Rust book as well. And you can actually go over here and click on IU. And you'll see the IU theme is built into MD book now. I contributed that a few months back. And you'll actually be able to use it on the Rust books next stable. And then over here, I am done. <laughs>